All right, everybody, this is my blanket pack. Now, I am going to be taking this on a trip next month to Mount Hood, um, the Mount Hood Wilderness Area, to uh, Boulder Lake. And this is pretty much all I'm taking. Now, I'm kind of a late uh, comer to the whole YouTube, you know, Wilderness Revival, everyone's got their own videos and stuff. I'm, I'm kind of late coming on, and I've watched a lot of videos. And my family has known that I've always been interested in this stuff, but this will be a really great exercise for me to sort of push my push my limits a little bit. Now, I'm gonna unpack this pack for you guys in a second, and and you'll you'll see right off the bat I'm giving myself so many advantages that it's not a survival pack. You know, it's a minimalistic, you know, uh, camping trip for sure, but. It has a lot of great features. I have to give my uh, tip the hat to Dave Canterbury. You know, this was pretty much inspired by by him and a lot of his early work with blanket packs. I have some things in my pack that I don't think he carries anymore, but I happen to really like the way that they they um, fit in the pack and the the uses of them. So the only thing I don't have in here yet is my bandana. I really haven't been able to find a pure cotton bandana that's three by three. I'll probably wind up using um, an old shirt and just cut it up. This whole pack weighs, I want to say, about 15 pounds or less. And it is incredibly versatile. I cannot wait to go out and use this. So I'm going to unpack this, stay with me, and I will be right back.